Uh, take a course by remedy to cure a good inventory will get an aid and okay, yeah. Prognosis poor, lung damage severe. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. Into the unknown. Kind of wanna put some new parts on my ship. Maybe get some like workbenches in it if possible. Oh yeah, I definitely need to get Not something to cure my ailment. Hey, my lung damage is improved. It ain't as bad. Hello, sir. Anything I can help you with? And he's your new captain. Mike. All right. Uh, do I get a view and modify my ships? Okay, no problem. The shipbuilder. Allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. The floor gauge to the right tells you the new modules will appear in the floor gauges at zero. Or the zero, for example, new modules will be placed on the center mass of the ship. And building new ship modules can cost credits, and deleting them will give you credits back. The ship builder will keep a running total of the process and entire transaction at the end. There's a flight check that will give you warnings of errors. The flight is... Okay. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> it said three errors. And I'm pretty sure all those errors were just for me removing that one piece. Bays. Landing bay, landing bay, cargo. Fuel tanks. Grab drives. This is interesting. All in one, engineering bay, engineering bay, living quarters. Okay, so I added a living quarters. There's an engineering bay. Unless I flat out just do an all-in-one. That's an engine. That's our grav drive. Our reactor. Cargo hold. This is going to be an interestingly goofy looking ship. Oh yeah, this ship looks big goofy. It look it says one warning. What's my warning? That my ship's all dumb looking. Reduce mass or add engines. Hold on, go back. Oh yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Ship is too heavy to grab jump. Reduce mass or increase grab. Oh, God. Only one grab drive is a real. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? I've, like, tanked the frames messing around. Oh, yeah. I've tanked the frames. Okay. Let's try and, uh. Let's try and fix this so we can get on our merry way before. I goof up these frames even more. One error. Ship is still too heavy to grab jump. Or increase grab jump thrust. Cancel modification. I need to get out of here in general. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you Oh god. Me. Oh god, okay. Frames are being fixed. Frames are fixing themselves. Oh, thank God. Let's get back in this menu and fix this. Yeah, better grab, grab, better grab jump stuff. Yeah. Items will be moved to the cargo hold. Yes. All right, are we good? Is everything fixed? Is everything good to go. 
Alright. I'm gonna move back to the shipbuilder. Or add engines to improve mobility. Oh, we don't have better... We don't have good enough engines? Are oh, my engines crap? You guys are killing me here. You can be telling me my lasers are crap too next. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll just stick with the ship that I have apparently. Looks good here. I'll be at my booth. Use all my money on it. I forget what we were even doing. open to us is that where we're going is we're supposed to go to the eye or hopefully I'm going to the right place this time it looks like it I think we're good hello Vlad we got a rook on deck Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Your name is Vlad and you're talking about blood. Good to meet you. Been a while since I've seen your ugly mug. Nice to see you again, old friend. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Checking these weeds in person. You won't be the only constellation out there. <laughs> Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia, it's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. I'll keep an eye out for Andresia. She's as tough as they come, but happy to lend a hand if needed. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Draw the words another time, then. All right. Out and about. Good to go. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's cool. Wow, it really actually just lets me sit in here too. Difficulty breathing. I don't know, maybe because my lungs are all screwed up. I'm working hard, Captain. Oh, oh, I can make things. Oh, that's dope. I can cook. Is there any other little hidden bits and bobs I can mess with? 
Oh, that's so sweet. Ahoy, Captain! Do you need me for something? I love that Lynn and Hell are in here just chilling out. Alright, on to the next location. Let's say which one's the closest one. Set course. where we're supposed to be going? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna land there anyway. We're headed wherever we're headed. Wonderful as living worlds are, look out for predators. That's a Helium 3 facility. Well, it was back in the day. Someone say move before they make me? Oh. That's what you get for talking shit. Oh, a cutlass? Dude has a straight up sword on him. I'm taking that. Oh god, mine! Oh god. Oh god, my lungs are not happy with me. Do not bring that turret back online. No, I swear I hit the heels. Damn it. That's a Helium 3 facility. Well, it was back in the day. Once again.
I'm gonna have to go around these guys. Take them by surprise. Oh god, or not. The turrets are on the me. Sound good? I think I've taken them all out. Your time's coming up. Well, he's pointing at somebody. Who's he aiming at? I'll find that out here in a minute. What the hell? All right, they up here. Looting the dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. All right, where's the dude that had the long sword? There it is. This walk is too difficult. Okay, then. Oh. Can I unlock the door from here? No signal. Oh, probably because I destroyed all the turrets. Well, it's got value. I should probably take the rest of it regardless. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find a spot on the ship for all this junk that I'm carrying. I just gotta get to it without exerting myself. <laughs> She's like, you ever did drugs? And he's like, ah, oh, I can't lie to my girl. He's, he wants to say it was fantastic, but he's also like, I can't tell her that. Like a lot. Lynn's just chilling out. I'm trying to find where the hell to put my stuff. Oh, cargo hold. So that's where we can hold all of our crap. And I still got none of it to put in there. Oh, Captain's Locker. That's useful. Oh, the container is at max capacity. For all my junk. Hello. Sam, would you like Here, to hold some of my crap? Oh, thank you. Well, I see your parents didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows? Hey, you need something? Uranium added. Well, I hope Sam, get too much under I, I say no to am it. carrying way too much, so I'm gonna need you to hold some stuff. Like quite a few things, actually. Damn, what is this? I'm gonna have to go through my inventory real quick. Was that like a shotgun? It just says rare heavy. I am still carrying way too much. You can hold that, hold that, hold that. I am just enough underweight. If I 
grab one more thing, it's like over. Some people go their whole life this. Find the artifact. How many artifact pieces there are? He's like, I gotta be real careful with what I'm picking up. I mean, food is food, right? Plus, I just uh, saved myself a little inventory space. Get out now. Oh, they seen me. Oh, they definitely seen me. Damn. I'm right, just going to pick up some med packs. Oh, Ow, shit. Don't stab me again. Thank you, Co. I was going to call him Cole again. Coming. Well, I just got my 50 pistol kills, so I got that, uh, got that thing upgraded. So I have, like, way better pistol damage now. Oh, crap. Am I over encumbered now? Yep. Oh, got him. I just seen oh. a glowing thing on him. It was like rare, and I was like, oh, I want it. Now I'm freaking carry weight again. Oh, I hate myself. I can't resist but to pick things up. There's the artifact, though. Oh, give it to me, baby. Another one down. Stay, uh, standing in radio, radio, radioactive waste. I cannot speak tonight. I have this thruster pack. Oh, I don't think this. Uh, no, it definitely would not give me enough. Ah, oh, come on. Damn it, world. Whatever I picked up, it better have been worth it. This one has boosted oxygen capacity. Was it just these things? Do I really need the knife, though? Yeah, I'll drop the cutlass. Still encumbered. 
That hasn't helped me there. Huh? Oh great, who did I alert now? I just need to get back to the ship. I'm gonna raise my CO2. That's fine. There we go. Okay. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. We got it. Set course for Niso or Nisoi? Nisoi? I don't know. I don't know how that's pronounced. Skill point earned. Abandoned mine. Well, it looks like it's where we gotta go. So, let's stay away from you because I'm ditching you. last night? Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you aren't really. I learned that back on Earth. No, not take off. used to use the stars to navigate. because they just lived on one planet. And that sounds boring. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have a bunch of miscellaneous objects in here. Didn't mean to take all those miscellaneous objects. Container is at max capacity. Well, crap. That doesn't help me at all. You look well. Well, I'm going to take a bunch of my miscellaneous crap and I'm going to ditch it on this planet. Because when you got a thousand planets in this game, you might as well, you know, pollute one of them. God, I hope none of this is of value. They have exclamation points on them and it makes me think they're of value. I don't think they're of value. And yet, I am still encumbered. Abandoned mine. Location discovered. Oh, crap. Cole? Co? We're shaving. <laughs> He walked through the electricity and said, I've got no worse shaving. We should bring Cora back here sometime. A ghost story. I think she's still into that. Oh. You sure you want to bring your daughter back here sometime? Because, uh, we just ran into some shit. Don't Hold. come any closer. Identify yourself. Oh, Andresia. Consolation, Vladimir wanted me to find you. Oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. Well, I guess making sure you were all right was a bit of an overreaction, judging by the dead body and all. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? 
No, not really. <laughs> I'm sure they meant well. <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. No, nope, they're back we at base. Time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. You guys, any anything good Always on Always worth yeah. checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Aliens too. That sounds cool. Well, what do we got down here? For crafting. Oh, jeez. It's saying it's better than what I got. Update friend foe settings. Calibrate friend foe settings. Activate units. What's up, boy? It You're here to protect me. To vacate this area. You talking to me? Oh boy. Yeah, get him, bot boy. Here we come. You know what? While I'm here, now that I think about it, combat, pistol stuff. Rank up my pistol. There's science stuff. Adds an additional zoom option. Hand scanner, scan distance increased by 20 meters. Ooh, I could use that actually. Here's my tech for my jetpack. I'm gonna walk this rank to increase its skill. Boom, baby. I'll take your credits, I'll take your cartridges, and your lives. I'm, I'm actually getting real into this game now. I'm starting to dig it. Like I'm getting into the flow of things. Didn't mean to take that, but okay. What can you do? I'm already over encumbered, so what does it matter? Stagey pack. Let's see. Ooh, that looks cool, but it's definitely not worth what I have on me. Let's see, sort by damage. I don't know why I'm using this gun when I have this one. That's an epic rifle, but I could probably sell it. It's probably worth money. Yeah, it's worth a little bit. Are you quite sure you don't hold on to that? Yes, I'm quite sure I don't want to hold on to that. Hmm. Yeah, I could jet it down there. Nailed it. Oh god, yep. Good luck, suckers. I got a rock to mine. Back. 
beautiful. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Oh? Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Yes. Uh, I've not been able to make any sense of them. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, what we've been doing. But he deserved it. Uh, I might say that many do. It is surprising to find someone else from Constellation who agrees with me. <laughs> they tend to avoid conflict wherever possible. What experience led you to that belief? What did you do before Constellation? I hunted people. I did horrible things. I've done all sorts of things. Have you now? I have also seen a great many things in my time. Some quite dangerous. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? You've got it. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. I'm ready. They're just shooting down at us, aren't they? They're not doing a very good job at it. Talk with Sam. I will talk with Sam whenever I damn well please. They said I'm out of here. Got him. I win. Grizzly, but part of the job. What's up, Samuel? A moment, can we talk? So, how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? I didn't know who the Co family was until I found you. But I think you're doing your family proud. <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days... He'd flat out deck him. Sounds like you weren't happy being related to Solomon. Let's see. <laughs> then I want my miracles. It sounds like you aren't happy being related. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Every parent wants their children to learn from their mistakes. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... 
I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I am the worst. <laughs> That's what I like about you. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. All right, let's get out of here, my dude. Oh. Yeah, that, that runs deep, doesn't it? Do you need all of that? Got him. Ignore me. Got any good ammo on ya? I need some. Oh, come on. I gotta find my way out of here. I was about to say, can I just fast travel? But... Oh, I think I found my way out. Yes, I did. This is an active industrial site. It would be advisable to air aid. Smugglers use caves like this everywhere. Pretty big mining operation here, right? Was a pretty big mining operation. Hella abandoned. You know what? I'm already encumbered. I might as well pick up all the crap that I dropped and sell it back in New Atlantis. Or whatever it's called. We outie. Found the artifacts. Time to add them to the collection back at the lodge. I think I'm just gonna go to the new Atlantis port real quick before we hit the lodge up so I can sell all of the stuff that I got. Oh, it's Samuel. Be, uh, if you need me to haul something, I'm willing. Thank you, Samuel, for holding all of my stuff. I was about to say, are these your guns? I think those are yours. All right, hopefully I didn't sell anything too valuable. Fluent in over two dozen verbal and I don't know about you. All right, Co. Looks like gifts. I couldn't uh, sell everything, so looks like you're still gonna have to carry stuff. You know, just take take all my grenades. All right, now we can go. Time to enter the mast. And we are back. What we get three pieces? Here's the closest thing Maybe Cora two? Has to home. Not bad, right? I hope you are satisfied no with the quarters Why? available to you. Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. Spending some extra time in the lounge, shall we? Oh, There's only so much I universe then, to explore, boss. Thank you, but myself. it was not necessary. We succeeded. Carry on. All right. Got something for me? I've got a few things. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock? Or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? His artifacts are really something else. 
I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Ah, a little bit of both. <laughs> uh, dreams without them, science has no meaning. Oh no, I'm not picking sides. Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. That's the winning play. Just kibitz from the sidelines. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Happy to keep traveling I have with no you. Objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Oh, am I? What about? Oh wait. I have no new artifacts to add, so it just added them all at one go. Okay, gotcha. I am at your service, Captain. Into the unknown. Picks up some data on artifacts just as I brought him back. I should talk to him. Alright, well. How much money do I have, actually? Can I finally upgrade my ship? Can I get more? Increase my maximum health. Yes, money, credits, 24k, big oof. I just need like a space to put all of my items. Oh, what's down here? Oh, pharmaceutical lab. Interesting. So I can make myself self the stuff. Cooking station. Constellation mission board. Industrial workbench. Allows you to create basic manufactured components can be used for building structures for your outpost and creating or crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. Okay. Component used in crafting. Huh. Alright. Spacesuit workbench can make my own constellation spacesuit. Navigator pack. Wait, I can make the spacesuit or I can add on? Oh, I can mod it. Ballistic shielding. Oh, okay. Can make better boost packs or get better boost packs. Oh, I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of stuff. The weapons workbench. Watch magazine. Muzzle. Okay, so I can modify my guns. The weapons rack. Alright, what's down here? There's a whole bunch of stuff out and about. That say this can't be my room, can it? I have no idea which room's my room. They never really gave me a tour of this place. They just said, hey, you're in, welcome. And kind of left me to my own devices. The well. The well. Like, is that a code name or something, or is this an actual like cave? Oh, it's like a water system. So it's an actual well, like a sewer system. And here I am, just out and about and exploring a sewer system when I should be going somewhere else. Oh, that's blood. Well, that's not good. 
Locked door. It's locked elsewhere. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Into the unknown. Set course. The eye. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. This is Constellation Star Station L0868. Welcome aboard. I've come to visit the eye. I'm back. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Oh, point me to it. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. All right. When near the anomaly, use my and scanner. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Oh, hi. Got any med packs for me? Yes, you do. That's undock. Get out of here. And to our mission we go. I'm gonna ignore that for right maybe now. The next one. Yeah, maybe the next one. I'm doing main missions here, lady. I can't. I don't have time for extra side questing. That's. I'm, I'm saving that for the new game plus. Things are getting weird out here, man. Just gotta follow the distortions, man. It's getting weird out here. Temple at a holy crap. That's insane looking. I think we found what we were looking for. Oh yeah. The source of the anomaly. Yeah, I think I found it. Can I scan you? Are they moving? They seem to react to us. Oh, I'm inside. Oh, this is cool. Is this the door we came in? I don't know if it is or not. I think it is. Yeah, that's the door we definitely came in.
promise that it leads us outside. Can I talk to you? What did you need? Uh, uh very well. I don't know. Is that all I needed? Because it seems like things are real weird around here. Oh, what's up here? Oh. What did I do? I did something when I touched that. Touch it again. Boom. Chase it around. Did I go to the right direction? One more? Gravity field equipped your new power. Are you all right? We need to get you back to the lodge. Powers? What? Oh. Oh, we're going full Dragonborn mode. Okay, that's pretty sick. Return to the lodge. Just walk in the lodge, be like, "Guess what, guys? I'm the Dragonborn." Are we not? Check out my Fusro Da. Make everybody float. Krix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans, like right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. It was like a building, like a temple. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? <laughs> Guards be like, hey, can you do the dragon shout for me? Come on. Let's see what that place did to you. Raise the thoughts with you later. Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. <laughs> it was the temple, it did it. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power, all connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. 
a follow up on the other anomaly, anomaly you found. Hopefully, it's another temple. Don't think it's just fortunes left that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Complete into I the unknown. Service, Captain. You'd like to Feel speak to with help me? Yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. All right, let's hear it. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. I got guns. Let's go. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. I'm ready now. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. I'll be right back. All right, I've returned. While I'm here, I should probably buy a better pistol. Now that I think about it. That's the residential district. Because for as much as I like this pistol, I don't have the ammo for this type of gun. I can go into the bank. What's at the bank? If there is any way I can assist you, I'd be happy to. Hello, sir. Listen, I have a lot on my plate right now. And you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day. Now, who exactly are you? I don't know. I was just coming to see what was going on. Does Starship Captain see what New Atlantis has to offer? Member Constellation. Constellation? As in the elusive and mysterious Constellation. Oh, wow. I used to read stories about you guys when I was a kid. Um, wow. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kiss me, really. I'm not here I for have side a shit. Proposition no. Could, uh, help us no. Both. Very lucrative. I'm good. I was just coming to check out other things, not, you know, maybe, you know, bank account stuff, not side quests. Jesus. I'm just trying to find the shops. Are they up here? Is, is everything up here? What about residential district? Maybe it's in there. Maybe I went the wrong way. Reached level 10. Nice. Okay, so it is the residential district that has all the shops. Gotcha. Because I'm ready to go to the gun store. Hello. I'd like to buy some weapons. God, that's such a good line. Ooh, there is ammo. Here's this, what does this take? 45 caliber. That is a good bit. I'll take it. Modified old earth shotgun. Oh, snap. Damn, look at you. I could afford you too. I think I gave my old good pistol to freaking Cole or I sold it. Co, keep calling him Cole, Jesus me. All right, well, I bought ammo for this gun. Hopefully, it'll hold over. We'll see what happens. All that money can buy. The City of Neon. Neon is known for being one of the most Antarctic places in the settled systems. Ah, 
there you are. You ready to go? Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekburn offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. All right, let's stop on by then. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. To no end what can be accomplished when there are credits. Oh boy, so this is Neon. I've heard about this place when the game was leading up to release. Kind of excited to see what it's all about. There's far more about what you take with you than you uh, Neon security, I'm sure somebody's gonna speak to me. Uh oh. He's gonna die. Drug smuggling. So, what was the plan, Asha? Smuggle the Aurora into Aquila City or New Atlantis? No, no. I just forgot I was carrying it. So, honest mistake, right? Okay, yeah, man. You guys gonna come in the elevator ride with me? Everybody in. Yes, better watch his back. Except for you, old man. You're getting left behind. God, this game is what Cyberpunk wishes it could be. Functional. Populated. Instant sensory overload. Hmm. Why does that guy look like Abe Lincoln? I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has his. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall yeah, whoop boop. Stroud Eklund, Corporate sorry. HQ. Walter is very proud of his business. And he should be. His ships are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bus you in, sir. Let's go. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Huh. Uh, charmed. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. <laughs> uh, I'm 100% beyond embarrassed. Uh, okay, I really don't need to hear about your enemy. Okay. <laughs> What's this about a speech? No, he's not going to be happy. About our business here. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. 
This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual? <laughs> so our meeting is at the Astro Lounge. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I'm off to do all the work while you two stay here? Investigate sour case of astronauts. Got it. Uh, I get. Uh, uh. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. <laughs> I'll give you some fun funds. Gives me a thousand. Like, bro, I had enough money. Thanks for the extra 1k, though. <laughs> so many, so many buildings. The trade tower. All right, guess we're just gonna run around Neon for a little bit. That's gonna be fun. Spaceport terminal. People jump. This is Freestar Rangers. Rangers are set up all over the place, aren't they? Hello, James. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Let's see. I'm detecting a bit of competition. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing. But Sieghart's given me no choice. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Sounds like some mob business. Oh boy. Keep his place safe sounds like smart's business. Uh, how do you keep your place safe? By standing up for the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Oh yeah, this is mafia stuff going on here. What kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Let's see. Maybe you should... Oh, yeah, don't say that. Keeping his place safe sounds like... For all you know, he doesn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon Security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Let's see. You set up any meeting with Walter Shroud or Stroud recently? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. You already got paid for connecting Sarah to Walter. We're not paying twice. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. 
Thank you. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. All right. That looks to be that. In here? No, wrong place. Go around in here. Oh, yeah. Up the staircase. Maybe around the corner. Don't want to accidentally throw myself off the ledge there. Neon core. I'm just running in all sorts of different places. I don't know why it wanted me to go out there. Run past everybody. There's the Astral Lounge. I have things I wish to discuss. Hey! Alright, let's head up here real quick. Hey. Hello, sir. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Your name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Let's see. Uh, is it illegal or not? It's illegal everywhere else except for here. I know that much. Yeah, I do alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? <laughs> Have a meeting here later. Worried about security. I'd like some details. And... Hmm. Anything on the menu that you recommend? Who created the music for this place? You could tell about. Oh, uh, worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Say I need security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Let's see. Prevent them from walking out. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. So I need security on my side if fight broke out. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. All right. Yeah, I could do 4,000. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Let's see. Come back soon. Yes. Check on the doors. VIP elevator. Okay, we don't want to go in here. Security's got his eyes on Saburo Okadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo, if you know what I mean. All right. That's talking to him. I don't really want to talk to him. Now, let's see. For that. Boom. 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 All right. Scheduling. 
Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. Remote control door. According to user, uh, approved hand signal. He has VIP tours. Oh, one times. Okay. I never had the patience for computer systems. I've checked the doors. You have my attention. It looks to be everything's in order up here. All right, back out we go. All right, lock picking time. Got it. Computer. Personal correspondence. Interesting. All right, time to go talk to Walter. Got all the information I need. I missed you too. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, Let's say what? You don't need anything from me then. I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tie or someone who could be with you in every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. <laughs> How are the preparations coming? Uh, I found out Sour is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. All right, to the lounge. I'm ready to go, Captain. Wait, I'm the captain. <laughs> I am the captain now. Q for a cup of coffee. Oh, I hope this meeting goes well. I would like a chance to talk to you. I'm packed if it doesn't. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers. <laughs> code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. All right. Looking for a case. Ramsey and Travers. Ah, uh, definitely not you. Oh god, yeah, that's a big one. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? You heard Speaking right. Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Walter, I found him! I just saw our cellar walk by. 
Good job. One step closer to our goal. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? It's your money, my dude. And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Ain't my money, so... To the VIP elevator. Up we go. Stay out of trouble. Or we'll... Hello, everybody. Oh, Walter, you're so already you're here. You're Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch ups for the official photos. Embarrassing. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Yeah, I'll sit down, ease up the tension a little bit. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah. Here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. <laughs> now, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh boy. What the? Security! We're not going anywhere until we have a deal. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Oh, yes. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Oh, yes, time to go home. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Uh, what? Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Uh, don't die just to get a rock back. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You're gonna make me shoot you. You're gonna make me shoot you, buddy. I'm getting really tired of all these scumbags in this city. Whoa, whoa hey now. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Yeah. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get off the planet quickly. Yeah, we better before anyone else comes after us because this is not okay right now. We got some heat on us. This is not all right. I just had to snap at a dude. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Ah, oh, shit. There goes our way out. Ah. Who is this Slayton? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. How'd they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. <laughs> Ah, oh, boy. All right, let's, let's figure out how to get him off of us without giving the artifact back. Reed, 
Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Oh, yes. Walter's about to kick in the door, start making demands. Walter and his captain security. Security captain, that's me. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband. Wow, we all share the same building, huh? I guess we do. If you have the time, I wish to speak. Oh god. Hello. A meeting? I've been waiting. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Yeah, we're going to have to get in there. You impounded my ship, you're all dead. Oh no. We would like to we would like to see Nicholas, please. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. He ain't busy enough, lady. I wouldn't be here if Slayton hadn't impounded my ship. He, believe me, he's expecting me. No, he isn't. You're gonna let me in there. Okay, okay. I might be able to make an exception for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have Walter Shroud with me. Stroud with me. I didn't mess up the name. Nice try. But CEOs don't just walk through the door. They make appointments. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. Bitch, I'm about to walk through those doors. I'm going in. Kiss my ass. You have a question? You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Walter, we need a security code. Hmm. How do we get in there without shooting up the place? Clearly there's a few alarms, but there's also a ton of eyes on us. Uh-huh. Can't overflow the toilets or anything? Can't overflow the sinks. It ain't one of those type of games. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Never a good sign. Oh. People are getting fired, it seems. Get out now. Oh, he said get out. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. You didn't I didn't take anything. We're all good here. I got the security codes. Let's go. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive one. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Lisa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Sounds good. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Oh, yeah. It said use the. Ha ha. I see it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, they meant this right. I thought they meant if you look at the elevator and look right. Ugh. You gotta be clear with me on this. I was looking hella dumb for a second, lady. 
I was like, oh, people are gonna be like, oh, he doesn't know his left from his right. So I'm like, no. Oh, I'm going. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. All right. Oh God, I hope she doesn't double cross us. That would suck. Cause Walter, your wife is really awesome. Drop down. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now to the door. Walter! Keep going all the way to the end. I'm at the end. Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. Are we good? Thank you. Well, are they shooting at us? They notice us? Did they really notice us? Oh, hello, Walter. Oh, yes. There's a series of... Oh, she was saying something. Okay, I see a staircase. We're going up. Okay, looks like we're fighting our way up. Best not to leave anything How the hell am I gonna get up there? It says climb the trade tower. Gotcha. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing then. Let's freaking go. back inside the building with us. Confront Nicholas. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I will call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> yeah, call off your guards and release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. Bitch, I have superpowers. You don't even know. Let's see. Ah, uh, you and Walter are business people. Some arrangement can be made. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? 
Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Mm -hmm. He's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. Assuming there is no information we are lacking, that seems reasonable. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. Can we no sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Yeah, I mean, dude got caught. What can you do about it? Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Why did you steal the artifact? Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. And you didn't get away with it. He wants me to decide what to do with you. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Nah, we're letting you go. Everyone steals, but you got caught. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. There you it go. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment. While you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time if to go. you are free soon... Let's talk more back at the ship. Could we talk? Oh, boy. All right. We can leave. We can go home. We've done it. And we got the artifact. And we didn't have to spend more money or none of it. None of it. Oh, there's the elevator. And out we go. And we're back to the ship. The deal with the man who wants us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? We got the artifact. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. Yeah, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. 10,000 credits. All right, let's see. Missions. Set course. Come on. What does it want me to do? Is something amiss? She wants to speak with me? Here, I have something for you. Thank you! Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought... Of course. I will keep an eye out in the future. Oh, money. Yeah, so. How are you, Dusty? All right. There's Satan over finally free leaving the Yon artifact back to the lodge. It says take off from Neon. That's all it says. 
just says take off. It doesn't necessarily tell me to, like, it wants me to go back from the lodge, but it's, it's, I feel like something's gonna happen the moment I leave. It's very, being very suspicious. It's not being like, oh, hey, you can fast travel back to the lodge. It's like, oh, hey, just leave the city. And I find that a bit weird. Oh, geez. That's not any type of ship I recognize. Uh, identify yourselves. Call yourselves whatever you want. You're just thieves to me. Let's see. Yeah, tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Yeah, let's get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on. I ain't surrendering the artifact. Screw that. Integrity's low. If it drops to zero, your ship will explode. What? I didn't know our hull was messed up. Yeah. The lodge. The wellness skill increases your maximum health. Yeah, I learned that. Alright, well I'm back. I got the artifact and aliens came after us. I wish to speak to you. What is it? You wanted to speak to me. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? Uh, I have no idea. If you're looking for answers, you're asking the wrong person. It was beautiful. I never imagined such a and place. It seems fitting that you were the one to discover it. You call me beautiful? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but how can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? No way humans are responsible for that. It is hard to argue, but the implications. I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? I, I feel the same. You think there will be side effects? How can any of us know what will happen? This is the definition of unprecedented, is it not? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, besides the fantastic new power I have, no. Yes, I meant apart from that. I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. This is exactly what Constellation is for, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. 
You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. Hey, everybody. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Uh, we were attacked. We need an emergency meeting. Or wait, I need you to look at data for my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. Oh, everyone's getting up. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. Call themselves the Star. Demand it. We hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Huh. Another house for Rome? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifact. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts and they're willing to take them by force. Yeah, starship design could easily be human. To Barrett's point, the artifacts clearly aren't human made. No settled systems lab made these things. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Add the artifact what to the collection. Oh, it's building. It's getting there. 